Welcome everybody. How are we all doing? Another ghost hack live stream. Managed to wake up at 1 a.m. only to watch the stream. Where are you at, man? Yeah, you're on like the complete other side of the world. I, it's it's 1 p.m. for me, so <laughs> happy middle of the night to you. <laughs> I see there's a couple people in the chat already. How's it going? I appreciate you guys showing up early. You're on it. You are on it. Today's going to be fun. I know I say this every time. I, I realize I do say that every time It's because it's always fun. It's always fun to stream, uh, but I'm going to be streaming for a few hours and I'm going to be making a uh, cinematic dubstep. It's going to contain cinematic atmospheric elements. It's going to contain maybe some orchestral elements as well. It's going to be nice and epic right on it. Yes, it's 7 p.m. Okay, so we got people all over the place. We got a stream that's all over the place. Yeah, it's funny because I stream at the same time every Sunday, right? But there's always people that are like completely in different time zones. So I'm sorry for everyone I, I make it hard on. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be, let's see, 1134 p.m. Yeah, that, that's, that's more reasonable, at least for me. Maybe that's not as reasonable for someone else. I'd, I'd find 1130 p.m. easier than... A lot of other times, but I can imagine cinematic dubstep to be something similar to the Electro Suite from the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh, I don't know. I remember I saw the Amazing Spider-Man 2. I'm just not sure what you're uh, not sure what part that is. But there's a problem is that I can do a stream for hours making just cinematic music. I can also do a stream for hours making just dubstep and making cinematic dubstep that's like both of those combined it's really hard is what i'm saying it's a very it's a very hard genre to make and it takes a while so i've done something that maybe it's a little controversial but it'll help me out a little bit here because you guys don't want to see just a cinematic or just a dubstep you want to see how i combine the two so i think i'm actually going to kind of cut right to the chase and i have a little cinematic thing already prepared there's no dubstep in this yet I'll show you how I made these. Mostly, it's just uh, putting in a bunch of different, uh, putting in a bunch of different samples. Most of them being drums and impacts, playing around with little foley sounds uh, and atmospheres, constructing some stuff. Uh, this isn't particularly complicated, but the fun stuff is not what I'm, what not what I did right here. The fun stuff is what I'm going to put after it, because I'm going to transition from this cinematic thing into dubstep. I know it's, <laughs> I know it's a lot right here, right off the bat. Uh, please also get an electric guitar. I do have an electric guitar over there, and I have been practicing. I got it a few weeks ago. Um, I'm not very good at it because I have never learned guitar before, but <laughs> hopefully that'll get better. I won't be stuck at not very good. But um, anyway, so I'm going to play what I have here. I'll do a quick rundown, a quick overview of what is here. It's actually pretty long. It was mainly meant to be... Uh, like a cinematic thing, like I was listening to the Dune soundtrack, and I really liked that, and that sort of inspired me to work on atmospheric stuff, but after this, like right in here, it's going to transition into dubstep, so already, I'll just go ahead and play the little cinematic bit that I have, just to begin with, and then we'll get to dubstep. Thank you. 
that's that. And yeah, I know there's not that much going on. Like it's very long and atmospheric. The idea was that this would be like for a film thing. So there'd also be like a cinematic and like animation thing to watch with it. I don't know. But this was something that I would just pull up, click a few things and close out. And then another day later, I'd pull up, click a few things and close out. I know it's a lot, but from here is where we're going to transition into dubstep. Because I figure I needed to start with something. I couldn't I couldn't start from scratch. I'd get nowhere. It would, I'm not, I don't want to stream for eight hours. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to transition from here into dubstep. I'm going to bring in some of these elements into here. Probably most likely the drums. I think uh, the thing about this that's the most powerful is definitely the drums i got a lot of these cinematic impacts all of these are really from ghost hack packs pretty much all of the sounds here uh, i got a lot of stuff from shimmer that uh package which has some really good really good atmospheric cinematic sounds um cinematic sound effects volume two uh some from trepidation i think i went into the ultimate cinematic bundle i got them from all different kind of cinematic ghost hack packs but Those drums are kind of the biggest thing for me. And there's these little percussion uh, loops in here that I really liked. I kind of stretched them out, but it's hard to tell in the mix. And all kinds of effects. But now, as you can see, this part here gets a little more intense. It's a little empty. I might fill in some more of it, but I want to carry on this intensity. And then we're gonna make it heavy. That's how that's gonna happen. How did I learn to put music together into a complete song? Uh, I listened to songs. That's probably the best way to do it. You can you can really go through and analyze the song structure of songs that you like, and been like, oh, they added like a little fill here, or oh, there's a gap here, or a breakdown. I might try that, and then sometimes it works out. It doesn't work out all the time, but sometimes it does. So the first thing I want to do is I think I'm not going to start with the drop exactly i think i'm going to start with the bridge going from the cinematic to the dubstep so real quick i'm going to get some drums uh because i'm gonna need a basic like a, like a kick and a snare to get going uh are there ever going to be any free ghost hack packs like on christmas there we got a whole we have a whole advent calendar man we have a whole we have a whole advent calendar each year the one from last year might still be open there's a lot of freebies on that one but uh, there's still just a lot of freebies in general outside of Christmas. But let me go. Was it here? There's a kick that I really like. Why is all of that distorted? Am I distorting on the master? Oh, I do have a Maximus on. Okay. That, oh, that's really driving it. Let me turn this down. Okay. That's a little better. I was, <laughs> I was wondering why those were all crunchy. There we go. That's my kick drum. Yeah. That's nice and punchy. And then I'm going to get a snare. I could get a snare from a lot of places. Should I just get a snare from here? That's a pretty good one. That one's not bad. It's a little strange. Um, I will go into... Maybe this one right here. Oh, that's kind of nice. It's a little dry, but we're going to layer it with a bunch of effects. Yeah. Oh, and this is at 160. Oh, that makes it even cooler. Okay. I like this a lot. So to start off from here, I want a beat like this. Oh no, not right there. I want that triple hit. And then it's gonna go like that. And this is gonna be the primary transition. Like that. Like respace or something. And then it'll go into a build up right here, and there'll be a do -do 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 more of like a dubstepy build up, and then it will go into the drop, and that's where I'll bring in the dubstep el elements as well as like strings and like some choirs and and uh, cinematic stuff. 
use cinematic toms. Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely going to use those. Yeah, I have plenty of those already. So all of these will definitely will definitely go into use. I'll probably fill up this section a little more as well. But for right now, I'm going to leave it as it is because that's not really what I want my focus to be on first. First of all, I do need this as a little riser. And then what other rising elements do we have? This is a rising element. What's this? I don't really need that there, though. Let me take this. Yeah, it's just like a noisy thing. It's just a noisy thing. I want to make sure this is a very obvious sort of rise up to this part. And then uh, let me see. And that's sort of the good thing about having a little bit done already is I can just I can take some stuff. These are just different uh, different sound effects that I can preview. Yeah. I'll put in another riser right there real quick. Just a, a quick uh, something really simple, I guess. Let's see. Risers. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to preview risers. Yeah, I'm going to do that. This one is a nice one. It's good for layering. Let's see. This at, this riser was actually from a cinematic freebie. <laughs> or not a cinematic freebie, just a general freebie. So we'll throw that in the background and then we want to burn, burn, burn. We're going to need like some Brahms, Brams. I, I never know how they're pronounced. So let's take uh, impacts here. That's a little deep. That's cool. I like that. To just layer with this kick. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Thank you. Ah, okay. I have loud sneezes. It's a little obnoxious, honestly, but I can't sneeze quietly. It's impossible. I've tried many times. Many times. Just a little bit of atmosphere. And I can use this right here. Just as a little reverse into the snare. And I'm going to put like bass hits in between. Yeah, I can do that. That'll be fine. That'll be totally fine. Um, do I have any big sounds in here so far? I do have that. That's not much. I'll, I'll go in and I'll get a bit of a stronger one, but I'll use this as a layer. I could get some choir hits going in here as well. Sorry, these drums are probably really loud for you guys. Um, there was a Brom Freebie. Uh, there probably was. We have a lot of them. I don't always keep track of them. I don't have all of them downloaded on this computer. Because I look. How, I already have not that much space at all. Like, uh, like, this is how much space I have. And you think, oh, well, there's room on the storage. But actually, no. This one has like 69 gigabytes free, whereas this one has 47 it's just a percentage thing. I had to go through and delete a bunch of my sounds. Machine gun sneezing. But I know where I can get some some of those, some of them hits, is I can go into the trailer sound effects volume two. If I go into one shots, they got some good Brahms. I'm just gonna call them Brahms, that's easier. I like that one. That one's also pretty cool. Also pretty cool. I guess I'm going to have to use this one, though. It's just so trustworthy. Nope. 
Does this mean we're in E? Yeah. Yeah, we're in E. Okay, E is E is workable, workable, withable. And then I'll have to sort of trim these up and make sure that they're not <laughs> they're not so like robotically just dead. Ooh. Yeah, that's what we're working with here. I almost want a gap. Let me put a little gap. Yeah, it's a lot better with a little gap. It's a lot better. And I'll turn these down a little bit as well. I'll layer in some crash symbols maybe. Should I just extend this one out? I don't feel like it. Because I want to layer some other sounds with this too. I don't want it to be just this one. Now let's take a look at uh, this mixer track. I already have a lot going on here. But that's okay. I like big projects. I can handle. Oh, there's actually not as much going on as I thought. I'm going to continue to be extremely unorganized. And I'm just going to keep filling in the next slot. Uh, I think generally I'll be able to keep track of that. I'm going to have to set up a side chain. I might as well set up a side chain now because I want to side chain those brass hits. I want to do that. So let's take 40, dock to the right, and now throw on a limiter. Where are you? Limiter. Sealing up. And just create this automation clip. Boom. Actually, real quick, I'm going to give you guys a preview of actually what I'm what I'm trying to do here because I made one of those cringy uh, voice notes. You know what I'm saying? I made the voice note. You know where you vocalize what it is you're trying to go for? That's what I did. Big hits. And then we go into the build up. Let's go. Switch up. Like that. That's how it's going to go. I have it all. It's all up here, right? And orchestral elements all the way. It's going to be great. <laughs> that, just a bump, 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 bump. We all do it. Everyone does it. Don't pretend like you don't. Also, if you don't, then you probably should because it's actually really useful. <laughs> it's really useful. It's incredibly useful. Record vo voice notes, people. Embrace it. <laughs> I have to make a respace. That'll be fun. Okay, let me get a, a choir hit. I need a choir hit. Um, Hans Zimmer collaborated with Excision. Maybe that's what's. Maybe that's what I should go for. Uh, I know where I can get a choir hit. I think. I think. Um, I might have to make one. I don't want to make one. I don't have any great orchestral plugins, but get disturbed by how bad my voice. is. You got to move past it. It's all. It's all up here. It's all up here. Um, I think. I think I. I, I put this in a ghost hack sample pack once but there is a choir here that i have what did i call it it's like a choir hit yeah so i'm going to that's an f let me pitch it down one Yep, that's awesome. 
and then, oh, I know what I can do. I can layer it with one an octave higher and it's going to be high energy. Okay, cool. So let's make unique. Let's throw this up 11. Yep. We're going to have to turn this down though. This is very loud. It's a very loud track. Maybe not even an octave. Maybe I could go up seven. So let me make this six. No, that's not happening. We're going with 11. And then we'll have to turn these down as well. But if we implement choir into the drop, it would be so cool. Like that would be seriously awesome. Do do do. Recording sounds fire. Uh, Ace Aura, use hard style kick as a layer. Ooh, that would actually be pretty nice. You're not wrong. Make the third brass and choir shot one higher. Oh, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Like that. Oh, that actually would be sick. I might do this one right here instead. So let me make this unique. And let's just throw this back up, right back up to F. And I'll make this unique. This goes here. And then this unique. And then that goes there. <laughs> and then this unique. And that goes there. Yeah, that's that sounds good. That sounds good. It's classic. It's a classic way of doing that. I like it. So now I can duplicate this. Just move this over here. Okay, what's running through the sidechain? Did I even run the brass through the sidechain? I don't even remember. I don't. I don't even remember. I sure, sure enough, I did not do that. I just created a sidechain and did absolutely nothing with it. Okay, let's add a. Uh, a slot for these choirs. These choirs will go into 17. So into 17. And then this one is the new one. Yeah, and this will go into 17. And then the octave as well. And I'll have a bass hitting under this. So it also makes sense in context of the genre. Should also probably route that kick in. Oh, that sounds good. Nice. High string for more tension. Yeah, I actually do have a high string here in pattern three. Oh, but it's so quiet. Ooh, subtleties, subtleties. Oh, now the focus is kind of open. Maybe I'll do a different high string because a high string is a good idea. Okay. Let's route this kick in. Ooh, it's going to sound good. Kick will go into 18. Snare will go into 19. Actually, to make it easier for myself, I'll put these drums and I'll make the dubstepy elements start at 30. So all the dubstepy stuff starts at 30. Everything below 30, cinematic. Okay, we got it. Organized. Organized. <laughs> Do you have some time to talk about cinematic dubstep? Well, here we are. Here we are, cinematic dubstep. I'm glad I decided to do this in 162. I think it's going to make it a lot interesting. High string on the brass shots. That's a great idea. Let me pull up high string. Again, I don't have any good, big orchestral plugins. Uh, I don't have the space or the money, if I'm being honest, because <laughs> those are very expensive. But I can use flex, not 3X oscillator. <laughs> do I use drum buses? Uh, sometimes. Depends on the situation. It depends. Soft Clipper on the Master will make everything 10 times more powerful. I believe it. I believe it. Soft Clipper's dope. Strings. That's excision right there. I like violas. I really do. Okay. High strings. Way up here. 
Are we an E? Yeah. That's so quick. And then over here, do do like that. Yeah, we can't go that high. Let's also add an octave layer, take this down in velocity, and maybe the fifth. Yeah, I'll do that. Let me just take the attack down and take the release down for these. Yeah, I'll hold off on the reverb. Maybe I'll just do reverb in post. What on earth is in here? Oh, it's a little sound effect. So I'll throw this one into 19. It looks fine EQ wise. Let me put uh let me put OTT on this. Ooh, Viking vocal. That would be a great idea. I have some Viking vocals because uh I have the Skyrealm package from Ghost Hack that has Viking vocals I can use. And we'll throw this through the sidechain as well. Oh yeah, I need to make these longer. Yep, we're doing that. Oh, that sounds good. It's all the side chaining. Ah, that has good, uh... That has good tone. Okay, and now let me make a bass to go under this. We're gonna do a basic sort of bass, and then we'll move on to the Reese bass that's gonna go in the middle. And then we can deal with sound effects and stuff. Acid bass, uh, ooh, an acid bass would be really cool, although I don't know if that would stick to the orchestral theme very well. Uh, flex strings are probably the best value considering it's stock. Yes, considering that it's stock, it actually sounds really good. You know, like if I had dropped hundreds of bucks on that plugin, I probably wouldn't be happy. But because I get it for free, I'm very happy. Very happy with it. Um, so now I'm going to do kind of the basic stuff I do for a nice distorted crunchy bass. There we go. Phase all the way up. Ah, smooth. Smooth. We'll add a little bit of prism, which sounds terrible until we do the thing we do with the prism. Squelch. There we go. We create this shape. Also, if you want to know what this does, it basically means that the prism effect, the prism effect bends pitches around and it sort of makes the pitches kind of wonky, like the, the pitches of the different oscillators. Meaning that, meaning like each of these individual sine waves is oscillating by itself. Um, these individual pitches kind of shift around and get kind of weird and wonky. Basically, it shifts around those pitches in the high frequencies, kind of in this off and on pattern, and then the low frequencies don't get shifted. So it keeps it sounding tonal while giving it just some nice texture. Ah, you see what it's done? It's shifted some of those together in clumps while spreading out the other ones. That's it shifting together, spreading out, shifting together, spreading out, stuff like that. So if you just do a little bit of that. Yeah, it makes it, it makes, gives it a little bit more texture. And we can hear that when we distort it. No prism. And now with prism. Okay, that was a lot less obvious than I thought it would be. Oh, there we go. Okay, no prism. And now with prism. whole different thing. I just added a ton of unison so you couldn't really hear that much. So I'll start. All right, we got all kinds of sound here. Okay, I'll start with this. 
This would be what I start with. I could change it up later. Whoa. But I just need a starting point. Starting point bass. Ah, it sounds good. Yeah, I honestly, I like that. It's simple. It's not, it's not complicated. It gives us, gets us intro, in, it gives us an introduction to the world of dubstep. I cannot speak. Let's sidechain this. And let's cut the sub so we can add a separate sub. Harmer is tough. It's really not easy. But as I continue to learn it, it's become probably my favorite synth. Probably my favorite synth. We'll make like supersonic bass. I feel like I should know that. High Reese slides. Yeah, I'm going to do a Reese in between. I'm about to get to the Reese. Real quick, I'm going to just put the sub bass. The sub bass. I feel like we're moving at a decent speed here. I feel like we're moving at a good speed. So let me put the sub over here in 32. And I can copy this over. Now this is not the drop, so I'll just add a little bit of sub. I will, however, wasn't that, I will add the uh, side chain. What on earth? Oh, wait. See, the problem is, this is what I get for not routing my routing my things with different names in them. This this kind of stuff happens, right? Because a lot of these I don't even put effects on. So the next open one is 33. So let me throw this into 33. So in that case, I will name them. Kick. Snare. Easy. Simple. Anyone could do it. Small goals, people. Small goals. Uh, any chance you have the BBC Symphony Orchestra free edition by Spitfire Audio? I don't. Unfortunately, I do not. I should invest in good orchestral sounds. I should do that. You are right about that. Watching your rhythm live streams in order to recreate the drop you make into a full track. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't remember. I know there was a rhythm live streams where I made some pretty cool tracks and there was a rhythm live stream or two where I wasn't as happy with it but I don't remember which one is which sometimes that sometimes that happens like not every track I'm super happy with but some turn out really well am I getting I'm getting a call from my mom sorry mom I have to call you later okay so now that I have that I want to make a respace in the middle to go right there I'm gonna add more sound effects to make the transition a little cleaner but I will right now just focus on the, uh, the honk. yeah, that's my, that's my ringtone. That's the only thing that doesn't drive me crazy, which is weird to say, cause it's a goose honk. Anyway, uh, I want to make a Reese bass. I'm not the best at Reese basses, but I try and I think I can make a pretty good one. <laughs> I'm to hop on stream. So I want to do mono legato. It might do a fake respace. Where I it isn't reasing from the actual phase cancellation, it's more reasing from like volume automation. I wanna say Give him some cookies. I always, I always deserve cookies, although I don't live with my parents anymore. Fub, 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 fub. That's what I wanted to do. So let's see if I can just make that pattern. Triplets. Yeah, it's going to sound like this. Sort of. But also kind of not. Ah, 
kind of. Uh, no, that is what I'm talking about. I can't say that isn't what I'm talking about. But I need to make it slide. Make it slide. And then I'll make it actually Reesey and make it a good sound. That's really loud. That's really high. With BPM off. Yeah, maybe that would be better to turn off BPM. It's going to be crazy now. Yeah. So let me get this. It's going to be difficult. It's really going to be difficult. What are you talking about? My mixer organization is awesome. <laughs> Oh, closer. Oh, almost. I really like basic. Basic has some really, really dope stuff. Yeah, that's a little closer. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just cut it a little bit right here. It's a little slower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Pe people like the high version. I mean, it's kind of cool, but we haven't made it a proper bass yet. There we go. Yeah, maybe I'll do the high version in the second part. Because uh, there's going to be two parts to this. Because there's like, there's, there's like two halves of all of this. But I just want to focus on this sound right now. So let's, uh, let's see, pattern. There we go. And now let's make this a better sound. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Probably want to do similar things as far as detune. Maybe I could take a wavetable. That might be a little better. There's the honk. Um, let's see. Spectral, maybe. I'll go through Creeper. Let's just loop this. I want something nice and deep. Reesey mess. Yeah, I could do something like that. And then layer it with this. Sub and move that up and down. Add distortion. Ooh. Low pass is a good idea. I can make it wobble. Uh, is this FO 20.9? I don't know. Did I update it? Uh, 20.8. It's not 20.9 yet.
That sounds kind of cool. I might change it later, but we'll see. Hmm. Kind of strange in the mono, though. So let's make this thing not very wide. And now let me throw the thick rack on it, just so we can hear how it sounds nice and thick. Kick wave table, maybe? Ooh, that could work. Oh, all right. All right, I'm playing this over and over again. I can't do that too much, otherwise I'm gonna get bored with it. I want it to be kind of more chorusy, though. Let me add a chorus in here. That's cool. Is there already OTT on this? There is already OTT on this. Let me put, uh, where is Disperser? Good plugin. Ooh. Yeah, that's awesome. And now make it an octave higher. Okay, fine. Maybe, maybe, phaser suggestion. I could use a phaser. I might use a little bit of a phaser. Let me try just a little bit of that. I don't want to spend too terribly long on this. That does actually sound kind of cool. Sounds kind of snails. Yeah, I'll add a little bit of that. That's totally fine. Flanger are going down. I don't think so. I don't think I want to do that. Let me just take down this width. And now let me unsolo this. Let's hear how it sounds so far. I don't know if this is going to fit in at all. Sort of. Okay, I hate the phaser now. <laughs> Sorry. Phaser was cool. I want it to be really detuned. Is that in time? I don't feel like it is, weirdly enough, even though I said it myself. Okay, that's a little better. I'm going to go in, I'm gonna add a little bit of bit crushing to this just to make sure it has a little nice high texture, just a little bit, not much. Yeah. No, let's see. There we go, after the OTT. Don't make the Reese in time, it's the power of offbeat. <laughs> It's jazz, guys. That's all it is. And now I'll do the same thing over there, but I'll maybe move it up to a different note. Uh, I want to make sure this is down below everything else. And then 
Merge pattern clips. This goes back up. You can modulate the LFO speed to when it's an octave higher, it's wobbling faster. Yeah, I definitely do want to do that. Well, that's kind of cool. Or should I go? Oh, that sounds sick. Try band passing it? Oh, that's a great idea. Where's the band pass? Let me try this. Normal band 24. Yeah. Oh, it's like worming around. I like it. So let me create a little pattern for this. Oh, I'm going to have to sort of copy no i don't i won't have to do that mm. I want to put some multiband compression before the distortion, I guess. That's kind of cool. I like it, but it's really piercing. I'll just fix it in post right here. Little boost there. Let me add another, uh, add another EQ. Okay, this is turning out pretty cool. Yeah. That's dope. Okay, let me make sure I have the stream up on my phone. I, I, I had to play my vocal recording. That's me. Turn down his volume. Cool. And let me cut this sub, and then we can add a bit of some sub. Cut the sub so we can add sub. That's how music production works. Do, 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 do. And then it slides. I am in FL Studio. I can use slide notes. Oh wait, no, but I gotta do the 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 uh the pumping, the resing. One, two, three, four. That's what I wanted. Does that line up? It's a solo. Yeah, it it basically lines up. And then the same thing will happen over here. Ooh. Band reject. Hmm. That would be interesting. I don't know if I want to uh, do too much more to this. I don't want to make it too crazy. So let me unsolo this. Okay, and we're going to have some sound effects here. As a matter of fact, I could probably just use this. Yeah, I purposely have the sub turned down a little bit because we're not at the drop yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of reverb to this because it sort of needs it to fill out some space. Ooh. 
Nice. I like that. Cool. It probably is, but I mean, it just takes more time for me. Um, cause I'd want to find an impulse and all kinds of stuff like that to do, 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 make a patcher. So the, what only affects the high end? Um, so now I want some crash symbols. I can get a pretty standard crash symbol. I'm just going to take this one. It's not a, where is it? It is straight from the trap. It's not a ghost hack crash, but it's just a solid crash that's good for layering. So I'm just going to take this. And it also sounds kind of cinematic. It's got that kind of crash vibe. Oh, only affects the high end. Well, we're cutting the sub, so I don't mind the verb affecting the low end a bit. Let's cut this. And then we're going to have to automate this uh, speed right here for this one. So it goes a little faster. That shouldn't be terribly hard. I'll just go into serum and then use a macro. So this one right here, I will create the macro and this will just go up. Yeah. And I'll just create a good automation for that. So let's create this. This stuff takes time. It takes time. Ooh. Every crash hit different one. That would be pretty cool. How should I do this? So hard to get this right. Oh, is that it? It might be. But I am going to need some more effects in here, like for transition. Whoa, kicking my mic. Uh, for like these transitions and stuff because it's not quite uh not quite full enough and i'm gonna need like an atmosphere in there something nice and ooh, i have atmospheres what am i doing i want to take something jingly i want to take some of this when I do automation too basic. Well, I mean, if it moves around too much, it's not going to stay in time. Oh, you want me to do one of these? You want me to go like something like that. That's actually kind of cool. But it doesn't work. It doesn't have a rhythm. Ah, uh, see, it's almost. It's close. It's a hard genre. It's not easy. It's not easy. Okay, see, that's cool. It's kind of rising. I just want these little... Uh, ambient hits right here to be a little bit louder yeah so i'm gonna make this unique
And I'm also going to have these run through the side chain. These will go in here. And I actually know what I'm going to do. I'm going to layer this with a little super saw. That's what's going to happen. So I'm going to clone this. And this will add a little more, add a little more energy and make it sound more full. We're going to delete this and this. I could leave the band pass. It's so tiny, tiny serum. Let me make it bigger. So let me copy this and paste this here. And then I'm going to link this macro to that controller. Link to this one. Okay, now why is it not linked is the question. Because I told it to link. Okay, linked. Serum 3, macro 1, accept. Except it refuses to do what I tell it to. Why? Oh, I know why. I'm so dumb. Okay. There we go. Okay. And this is going to layer with that one just to make it sound a little more full. A little more full. Oh, that's true, but it still needs like these areas right here are very heavy. So in order to, I still have to make it sound decently filled out and like still have uh, some, some space. Oh, listen to that. It just sounds, I feel like it sounds a little more evil this way. But anyway, sound effects, let me go into, let's see, here's Ghost Hack Cinematic Packs, uh, Shockwave. I really like Trailer Sound Effects Volume 2. Ultimate Cinematic Hits also has some cool stuff. Um, a lot of those are very similar. Maybe sh the Short Risers, I want some whooshes. Yeah, I like that. I'll just take this. And then this is going to kind of slide in. And let's take some more. Ooh, that's cool. I kind of like that. It slides in. It's what I want it to do. Let me trim this up. Make sure this is placed right. I need to turn it up a lot because these have a very heavy hit. It keeps it from being loud. I don't want that to happen. And I'm totally fine layering a bunch of like smaller sound effects together. What about the suckbacks? How long are these? See, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. A little too much bass. But we can fix that if I just edit it and I can use the quick Edison EQ. Just do something like this. I really don't care about this bass. And now... Actually, I'm going to cut the bass a little more than that. Let's keep, let's keep cutting. 
Yeah, I just want the air. Yeah, that's how it that's how it sucks in. <laughs> I can't forget I said that. Anyway, what's up? DJ Snack. I can answer questions. And I'm going to pick a different one to go right there. Maybe something with a little bit of high end. Oh, that's cool. Sample choice is extremely important. All these are very low. What are signature? Well, that's kind of cool. Anyway, let me go uh, trailer sound effects, volume two. And let me take some of these maybe whooshes. Oh, there's whoosh hits. Whoosh. You can make a meme out of this with Einstein comp. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> a little too much bass. There is such a thing as too much bass. Oh, see, that's sick. That's so cool. Whoa, okay. This is high energy. And now we need bases to go in those particular areas. Uh, I'm actually, I actually don't think I'm going to make those bases. I think I'm going to take some of those bases that I've, bases that I've made in the past, just some glitchy ones, because uh, it's going to take a long time if I make all of these bases like this. Let me save this, and uh, let me go into. I have a little folder here, glitch bases. Some of these are good, some of them are not. So I'll see which ones are cool. <laughs> I kind of like that. Where's this place? Okay, and now these will go into 35. So I'll take a little piece of this and I'll take a beat, a piece of something else as well. Just to add a glitchy bass fill in here. Oh, that sounds kind of sick. I might just... Yeah, that sounds cool. That sounds cool. Let me take a uh, different one because all of that sounds kind of the same. That one's juicy. I'm going to take this one solid because I like the tonality. Ooh. And I'll probably do some layering as well. It isn't just going to be switching off from these two bases. These are like phase one. Oh, phase one kind of vocals, like uh, like metal vocals. Ooh. That's 
so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I like that a lot. Let me throw these bases, these sort of assorted bases into 35 just so I can cut the sub and do some compression to make sure that they're not crazy, like different as far as harmonics go and frequencies. Listen to that. That's cool. Okay, EQ. Yeah, one clearly has more sub. There we go. That's a little better. Let me add Maximus. When you're mixing these kind of bases to better, when you're mixing these kind of bases together, do multiband compression. It helps. And now this will go into the side chain, even though I don't even think it needs it. And then uh, we'll add some sub to this. I don't exactly know. There's no real pitch. I guess I'll just do something like that. Because why not? The sub could be louder. Yeah, I'll make it louder in the drop. Um, did I answer a question? Someone said question. There was, <laughs> I'll answer your question, but you got to type it. Okay, that's cool. And let me add, where's the... That's kind of cool. Kind of fills it out. And then I can add just different glitches right here. I could just reverse it. It sounds good. It sounds alive. Maybe I could do a mix of two different pieces. That's cool. Count kind of sounds like a machine gun. I want to make sure it sounds good though. Oh, that's cool. I was wondering if the first Reese could go an octave higher, but the second Reese could stay where it is. Okay, so. So it'd be like. Whoa. That's kind of cool. What do we think? That sounds kind of demon kind of kind of thing. Do you like that or this? Which one is better? What do you guys think? I know there's some of you still watching. And let's take this over here. Move this. 
Demon version. People like the higher one? Yeah, it is sick. What other atmospheres could be added here? All of this seems so quiet now. Oh yeah, it's because I'm not cranking the master as hard. Listen to the volume difference, oh jeez. I want to almost bring in this synth. Where's the uh, filters and stuff for these? It's just too atmospheric. I think that's the problem. It's too atmospheric. It would have to be a little drier. Um, let's see. You can add some panning foley in the last section. Like, uh... I'm not exactly sure which part you mean, but... I definitely want to add, like, a... Like something here, something to uh, kind of keep rhythm a little easier. What do these percussions sound like? It's kind of sick. Maybe I can just grab a tick from this, just like a ticking thing. Nah, I'll get a different percussion. I'll get a different percussion sound. Um, let's see, where in the world can a man like me find some percussions? Abstract percussions. I want it to be like a tick. Maybe kind of like a hi-hat. I'll describe this real quick. Oh, but now the out of rhythm makes it a little harder to understand. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I can do that. I'm just going to pan it kind of back and forth. I think that would be pretty cool. And then I'll move on to kind of the breakdown and then we can do that build up and then the drop. High pitched. So it's subtle. I don't care that much about the sound. It's more the purpose that it, uh, the purpose that the sound has on the track. It's basically a hi-hat. I could have just taken one of those. Let me take a uh, pancake. Yeah, pancake too. Run this through the side chaining. Lead with vibration. Ooh, that could be pretty cool. Oh, 
You know what? I like that idea. I'm going to create a I'm going to create kind of a screechy lead. It's not going to be uh crazy because I think I still want it to be background, but it's just going to add just going to add some color to it. What if I just do that? <laughs> Add distortion, yeah. And then we'll throw this into 37. Yep. And I'll just EQ it. Gonna add, whoa, I don't wanna do that. Gonna add some reverb. Nah, no chorus, I'm not into that. Reverb delay. It's gonna be quiet in the background, hopefully. How long has it taken to get to the point where I'm at musically? Um, I am 21 now. I started when I was 14, 15. So, uh, math. We'll do, we'll start down here and then move upward. We're also gonna turn this down. Is it weird that I want it to be even more detuned? It's as detuned as it can possibly be. Well, actually, that's not the case, I don't think. Because I could go... I feel like I could make it more detuned. Oh, that's weird. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, it adds that suspense. Maybe not way up there. Maybe that's not where it's at. Maybe I'll, I'll just turn this down a little bit. <laughs> I have more beard than you. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get more beard. I'm trying to happen. It happens slowly. It happens slowly. It's a slow burner. Okay, cool. Slow burning beard, but it'll happen eventually. It'll happen eventually. My dad and all my uncles and my grandfathers, they all have beards. So I don't got nothing to worry about. I just got to wait. Okay. So now that I've done this. Pitch bending like a. That could be kind of cool. I'd like to sort of move on from this area though, because we spent a lot of time on it. Nah, turning into seamless. <laughs> I will eventually be seamless. That's my final form. Oh, but there's nothing in here. I feel like there should be something. Oh wait, I won't. I won't do that right now. I will uh, do this build up. We're gonna get a. There's a little bit. And then we're going to go into the build up. So let me take these little hats, these weird hat things. Let me move these up here. There's no reason for them to be that low. And these will come on, go over here.
I might do a short build up. Like I expected it to be twice this long, but I think that would just take too much time. I think, I think this track is already really long as it is. I might as well make the build up a little bit easier to sit through. Wait, did I say I was 15? <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Um, someone said that in another live stream, so say as a joke, honestly, it sounds really cool. Huh? I don't, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's all good though. Let me get these sound effects. I want that stuff. So let's take this one, this one, this one, this one over here. What's stopping? Oh, the crash. Okay. Where's the... Yeah, that's what I want right here. This, 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 this. I want that. How to AU5. That's a, that's a long video. That's a long video. <laughs> This goes here, this goes here. I don't really worry about them layering too much. Should probably make that kick smaller. Ooh, a pulsing bass is a really good idea. Yeah, maybe I'll take out this hi-hat and replace it with a pulsing bass. And that'll really lead us into the build-up good. And I'll add some more cinematic elements in that build-up just so we make sure it still remains cinematic. What plugin am I going to use? Probably this. Maybe I'll switch to here. But I'll see. Again, I'm becoming seamless. You have to let me undergo my transition. Let's take this, make it a normal volume. Why on earth is FL Studios uh, duplication uh, shortcut control B? I've worked in Pro Tools and they're smart about it. It's control D. But if I hit control D, nothing, like something, I don't know what happens, but it's control B for whatever reason, which is extraordinarily dumb. Yeah, that's cool. Let me edit the pluck shape. There we go. So it's kind of subtle. Of course I can add a little bit of Cause it's duplicate. Start doing challenge streams. Ooh, that'd be fun. I think I've done some challenge streams before and they did turn out pretty cool. sub to this. That's not what I want. Oh yeah, we should do another feedback stream soon. 
should probably do that. Maybe a little bit of OTT. And then perhaps some limiting just to take care of these peaks. I could even open this up. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll create an automation clip for that. Yeah, that's cool, I like that. Okay, now more sound effects in here. Maybe there's some Foley we could grab. That could sound pretty good. Just background filling out. Doesn't really sound like much. Might be filtered. And I need just a, let's see. I kind of have a bit of that. I just need a down sweep, which is something I don't quite have. I do have one. Nice. And then I'll add like some drums in the build up, a little bit of that, and then that'll go into the drop. Um, what else do I want to add? Yeah, just some noisy sweeps, more of some EDM style, uh, EDM style sound effects. So let's go EDM package right here. This is the ultimate EDM. Oh, I forget what it was called. Oh, it was something involving EDM. I forget, but. A little bit of this sub riser. Sub risers are actually crazy useful. For building up energy. They're really, really good. Just layered in the background. I'll use this one because this one sounds nice. It's nice and short. You know, I have to figure out a fill and stuff. But I'll just use this for right now and throw this right here. Oh, very loud. It's gonna be good. Yeah, I want brass hits. Let me get some brass. Let me pull up flex. Where are you at, flex? I don't use flex brass much. I probably should. I probably should. Um, horns is what I want. Is there like a full brass section? There's full winds, um, full brass, yeah. Yeah, it does. It's meant to sound like a ah, kind of thing. Are there any plans for more EDM type sessions in the future? Sessions as in like streams, like right now? <laughs> or do you mean like courses? Electric distorted guitars? Maybe. What if this is like staccato?
I don't know what I want this to sound like. This probably sound kind of dumb. Not horrible, actually. That sounds kind of dumb. Maybe some of that. I could do a little bit of that, maybe. Oh. Yeah, that sounds badass. I think I want to do that and then add reverb. So big reverb. doesn't have enough impact it needs it needs more impact maybe i can layer uh one of the one of these brams what did i just even say one of these brams um not one of those i'll take one of these a different one Something with a little more impact, you know what I'm saying? That one actually does sound cool. I'm taking this one and I'm uh, pushing it down. And I'm obviously doing this so I can play it more like an instrument. That's gonna give the whole thing a little more impact so I can copy it, paste it over here. It's probably gonna be way too much. Way too much, way too low. Let's throw that into 20 as well. There it is. Yeah. Also, why is that automation down there? And you know I'm gonna have to fade this in. Like that. It kind of sounds trappy. Give it a little more low end. And now we'll create this automation clip after I select the area that I want the automation clip to go in. Let me create that. Hard pumping house. <laughs> what? <laughs> I look away for a minute or three. 
Shorten the note, it'll hit with a cymbal. Hmm? You know what? Double reverb. I'll use the convolver this time. Because I want to equalize. Wanted to be a high EQ. Nice. Uh, Chad is under Russian Federation authority. Surrender your rights to your supreme. No freedom in the ghost hack chat. Okay, and now I need, oh, I need some kind of weird bass synthy thing to just, you know what I'm saying? Like sort of fade out. Need something like that. Or at least some kind of and then there'd be a nice big uh nice big thing. So I'm going to go into the main teeth bites pack, which is the I don't actually know if this is still up. It, it might be still up on the ghost hack page, but there are some like Reesey bits here. Oh, see, that's cool. I like that. If I just get something falling down, oh, there's like tons of them. They all sound pretty good. I kind of like that one though. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this right to the start and I'm going to use FL Studio to kind of trim this thing up. Surprise, surprise, I'm using FL Studio. And then I'm going to add some reverb to this. And maybe cut the sub a little bit. Or just lower it. Nope. Not delay. I just want reverb. And then I'm going to do something like that. Yeah, so make this decay nice and long. And then I will create this automation clip. Oh, I forgot to highlight the spot. I always do this. And now I'm just going to put this here. And then fade this reverb up. Valhalla is super massive. I uh, don't have that plugin. I've never used it. It's probably pretty good though. I guess the beauty of this is we can try the other ones now if we wanted to. We could totally do that. Like we just hear how this sounds. Well, I actually like that one better. But we can try another one.
Nah, I don't like that one. Maybe this one. Nah, not that one either. They're getting shorter. I can make them longer. Free, and download, download it now? I'm not going to download it now. If it's free, though, I might download it. Now, see, that just sounds good. Yeah, and I'll get some war drums to kind of build up into this. Where can I get those? I can get those from, let's see, Quantum Force Volume 2. They should have some around this, uh, around this tempo. Actually, what's this loop? Yeah, I'll throw that in there. Metal drums, that would be cool. Although maybe I'll do a metal step stream sometime in the future. I like this one, it's tight, it's tight. And I'll just fade this in, make sure that it's nice and loud. Was I already using this? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Select all similar clip, wait a minute. If I make unique, I was already using this somewhere else, where? But where? Oh, I see. Oh. I already knew I wanted this to be a thing. I have to deal with the volume. I really do the volume change there. Maybe, uh, maybe no fill? Should I do no fill? Or should I do the fill? Epic drum fill time. Maybe I will do metal drums. Maybe I'll do the metal drums. That would be pretty cool. I'll keep it orchestral though. Keep it orchestral still. Uh, easy drummer. Great plugin. Let me take my metal kit and throw this into, yeah, 41. Why not? I can make a I can make a metal drum fill with this. Whereas there should be a chain that I made. Easy metal drums, yeah. Ah, the delay. something like that. 
I'll start with something. It'll probably change, but I just want to get something down. might cheat uh, the laws of physics here and give this person three arms. I might do that. Oh, I like that flam at the beginning though. three hands <laughs> make the toms roll hmm I don't know That sounds pretty cool. Where on earth is the ride? There we go. Yeah, and then we'll go into something from that. I need to make this a little more powerful, though. Because I made it for metal. I didn't make it for dubstep. So I'm going to just... Give it a little more power. And then we'll go into the drop from there, okay? And let's see if I can't add a little bit of this in the buildup as well. Let me just make this unique so I can just make some buildup drums here. I'll probably start with the ride cymbal. I think that'll be good. I could even have all the cymbals that I do in my dubstep drop come from this kit. I think that'll be good. So let's delete this. I know it's not very lifelike. A lot of it's really solid and like heavy, but... I don't really mind that that much right now. We'll just have the ride symbol going for a while. Just filling out some space. I like how, this, how there's three different snares. Ooh. Maybe I'll do some of this. Ooh, 
that makes it kind of... kind of interesting. And then the kick can be going double time, metal style. And then faster. This one, hitting that open ride. I do want to automate these drums though. Uh, what channel are these drums going into? Yeah, I like that, but I still want to do some quick automation to it. So what I'm going to do is probably pull up vinyl. I want this to just be solo. Just give me the drums. Just these metal drums. Even though it's on 2000, it still opens up a lot. That blast beat. Okay, so let's create this automation clip. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen to that. Do I leave the weird phasey stuff? Do I leave that or should I cut it out? Like it makes it more interesting. I don't know how much it'll help, but. I like it. I like it. I might leave it there. I'll, I'll, if I don't like it, I'll take it out later. If I don't like it, I will take it out later. But um, I think it sounds pretty cool. Where on earth did the crash go? It's gone. What? what, what but what happened to the... What on earth is this? Ah, uh, I'm not naming my things. I don't know where things are. It's not good. Route this into 21. This goes here. Oh, I know what sound I want to add. I want to add either this. Or this. They both sound good. I think I'll take this one. I'll try this one. And then we'll go into, go into dubstep from there. All right, cool. What was it that I had planned for the dubstep drop? Let's see. Okay. Awesome. I have time to do this. I have time. Let's listen to my voice recording and let's see what I have planned. Okay, I remember. 
It's actually going to be really similar to this. Yeah, this really is drum step. It's at 160. But then again, I mean, dubstep and drum step, the only thing making them different is just the... Uh, is just the tempo like you could say there are these elements that you tend to find more in drum step and they don't tend to be in other kinds of dubstep well yeah it's still dubstep though it's just a subgenre. I hope this is like making sense to you guys. I'm not just making weird sound. Really don't comprehend EDM genres. Yeah, there's a lot of EDM genres and a lot to sort of remember. It's kind of the same way with metal. I was kind of overwhelmed when I started to get into metal because of all the different types of it that I didn't understand. But in in the end, you just, I don't know, you like what music you like. It doesn't really matter what genre it is. Those are just, genres are just tools, you know. They're just tools to help us keep track of things. We don't have to go crazy over them. So now, ooh, I could do like metal drums too with this. Ah. Listen to how, those t how tight those hi-hats are. I feel like my cymbals are... There we go. Okay, yeah. Okay, C3 is where I'm playing. Ah, it just... Ah, with the kick. Ah, it sounds so good. This is Easy Drummer, Easy Drummer. Uh, it has a big brother, Superior Drummer, but I don't, I don't do drums enough for that. Layer a metal kick over the snare. Nah. I could layer a metal snare over the snare. I could do that. There we go. I think that sounds pretty dope. Whoa. They are very wide. That's how, uh, that's how you do it with the real drums. You like those everywhere. Do this one a ride bell. I might I might pan those crashes a little bit better, but yeah, I do want hi hats. There we go. Huh. 
Let's see, this isn't really something a human could play, but at this point, I'm not particularly worried about that. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Okay, give him 20 arms. Yeah, all the time. We have, like, crash symbols, double hi-hats. We have the ride, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Hi-hat pedal. Yeah, I guess I don't need the back and forth with the pedal. I suppose I could just... I could just do that. Yeah, I think I will. Can I do control R to open that up? That doesn't do that. Let's rename. I need to do, uh, let's see, tools, and then randomize. There we go. I think everything else should be fine, though. And then on this one, I want it to be a little more normal. It's going into a normal groove. So I'll make the symbols different as well. So let me just make this unique. And this will be the normal groove. Yeah. Oh, listen to that. Whew, I like it. Okay, so now we'll take these and we'll throw these together and I will just merge these uh, pattern clips. This will go right up here. I might have to turn those down because they're very loud. Okay, where's the Brom? Yep. Maybe I want to hold off on the hi-hats. Yeah, I'll hold off on the hi-hats. I know this is pretty repetitive for you guys, probably. Maybe I'll make this unique and go... So I'm going to make a bass to go under those. Also the choirs. Uh, where are the choirs? This will kind of tie these two bits together. Nah, not those. Those aren't choirs. Where are the choirs? Oh, here they are. I want these. Oh, and these have to be made unique as well. We'll have like a heavy bass under those, excision style. I 
I'm probably gonna have to do the same with the layer, with the choir layers. And I'll make this unique and it'll go up one. There's a lot to this. I don't know about full thing. Cause listen how quiet this is. Like in comparison. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and I'll take care of this right now. Cause this isn't actually that hard to take care of the rest of the track being so dang quiet. I'm going to take a limiter, bring the ceiling all the way up and I'm just going to create an automation clip for this gain. So right here is where it's at peak loudness. So I'll paste it. And then the rest is just going to come up from here. So let me single curve three, maybe because that's really tight. Okay, there we go. So I won't play the whole thing because the whole intro is quite a long time, but I will play a little bit of this. That'll get us in the mood. and atmospheric. At the end of the stream, I'll play the entire thing. Gladiator is a sick Doom track, you're right. Except that's not the bass we're gonna use. <laughs> I'm gonna go an octave up. I'm gonna make this one actually good. I can make a crunchy sound here. I'm gonna make a Reese. Cause I know I've already done Reese action before. I wanna just make this just super, super crispy. Which means log. And I can use the phaser. It's about to be loud. It's about to be loud. Might as well run this through some uh, effects already. Now 
Yeah, I'm good here. <laughs> Try orchestral dubstep next stream. Yeah, there's there's some orchestral elements to this. The main thing is just cinematic. I don't know if I want to do orchestral dubstep mainly because I don't really have good orchestral plugins outside of just flex. Yeah, this is mostly mostly FL stock plugins. There's a little bit of serum as well. <laughs> But the main sounds come from FL Stock. Jesus. Let's route this through the side chain. Oh yeah, and we have to put this over here next to all the other electronic style stuff. That's how I'm going to make it worm around. Like that. We're going to layer it with something else on this side. Yeah, Viking Chance. Oh, that's the next thing I should grab. You're right. You're right. Sky Realm vocal chants. Listen to that. That was some 8-bit rhythm. Not exactly, but we're on the right track. kind of cool so I'm going to copy this to part B copy this to part B and copy that to part B So now we have a little bit of a uh, little bit of like volume automation there. I'm also going to layer strings with this. Oh, I could add brass. Yes. Wow, that's loud. Let me know if it's way too loud for you guys. Should I add it up here? 
Maybe a bit. Maybe a bit of that. I'm going to make it a little quieter. I'll extend this out. Make it a little quieter. <laughs> a bit. I'm, I'm, I'm way ahead of you. Okay, now where's the strings? So we're going to take these. The brass is very dominating. Like, I kind of like that about it. But it might have to just be toned down. Your fan, what's up? How's it going? Those are sidechained, right? Okay, they are. I was just making sure. Just making sure. Okay, and now we need to add sub. Sub to this. So this is in 41. Sounds a lot different without the sub. So let's add this. And then I'm also going to add noise to it because that's really good to add to drops. It's way too low. And now the sub is going to be brought up to normal volume. Okay, and let me get just 3x oscillator so I can get some noise. I don't know why noise looks like that. That's never made any sense to me at all, but uh, it does. And as long as you know that, I guess you're fine. A little bit of noise. The reason I use 3X Oscillator is because 3X Oscillator has stereo noise. Serum's noise is mono by default. And I'd rather not use mono noise. I'd rather just take stereo and shape it myself. This is going to help fill out everything. I'll route to this track. So it's uh, sidechained. And now let me copy all the sub pattern to 3X oscillator. And now I get to see where the sub messes up. Oh, it's a dice? I didn't know it was a dice. That makes sense. Oh, I thought it was just a square with three. I mean, that's what a dice is, a square with three dots. I, dice didn't connect in my brain. Weird. Wacky. Okay. Okay. The problem with this noise is that it's not distorted enough, so I'm going to add Faturator. And I'm going to go like this. There we go. <laughs> Get that crunch in your noise. Yeah, I'm going to add more uh, standard sort of dubstep stuff in the next one. I don't think I want to distort it to a sign. I thought about that. I'd rather just make it thick.
and this neat thing needs to be uh, a little more like that, yeah. Hmm. Okay, and now we have to get big like dubstep hits to go right at the front. Okay, that's heavy as balls. I like it. I like it. I like it. But I think I'm going to take... I have some basses that I made uh, a while ago. They're in harmor, so hopefully they'll do fine. I call them sign demons because I made them completely out of sine waves. <laughs> I also made that bass on a stream. They're so loud, but I like these hits. Oh, listen to that. Ah, that's good. Imagine if I side-chained it as well. Oof. Hmm. He's first. He's first two, I think. Yeah, I'm locked into that one. I like that one. I also kind of like those, but they're subtle. And I'll just take this one and add a little bit of this right here somewhere. And they're already in E, I think. They are. I like this second hit. <laughs> Could I add two hits? Oh, I thought that would sound dumb, but it doesn't sound terrible. Maybe just something like that. You have a higher pitched one. Oh yeah, right at the beginning. Take me to the beginning. Okay, before I do anything, I have to sidechain these because these are just crazy not sidechained. <laughs> 40, what now? Oh, did I get it right on the head? I did. 43. Awesome. So going to 43, they're all kind of the same, so I'm okay with them all going in the same channel. <laughs> I'll add a little bit of separation. And that will also take away the sub. Because it's a little messy. Route this through the side chain. Where are we at? Two and a half hours. Nice. There we are. And now I will add sub under this. 
and noise, so it'll layer together a lot better. Not that one. Sub, give it to me. And I'll slide up a little bit with slide notes for the sub. I think it kind of needs it. Oh, that's kind of sick. I like that. I like that. Also, for some reason, I closed out the stream on my phone. Oh, yeah, because I keep listening to the recording. I like that. I like that. That's me. All right. Let's see. I might change out those sounds. Those sounds might not stay. I just want to hear what they sound like with the side chaining. So we're going... Maybe the high sub was not it. I, I keep going back and forth on stuff like this. But there's one thing that's definitely for sure. I need to add cinematic elements going the whole time. I need the whole time cinematic elements to be running because that's what's that's what's going on here. We're making we're making a cinematic dubstep. So I got to keep this going. Where's some strings? That's fine. If you want to just sit back and chill and watch, you don't have to interact in the chat, but I appreciate anyone who does. I just need some... What if I were to have that kind of stuff just going on in the background the whole time, kind of Code Pandorum style? I could do staccato. I wish I could have, well, I can't have both of them. What am I talking about? They have to match the uh, pattern though. So let me clone it. Actually, the last two I want to be. And I'll do all string sustain. So I'll copy and I'll paste this here. Nice. So we're going to throw both of these into 21. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to throw them into 22. Yes. We're 
gonna add some reverb. Maybe a little bit of delay. want to make sure that this thing is wide. Goes through the side chaining. I deleted a note. Oh, hold up. Um, no, they all seem to be here. Oh, I see what you're saying. So this has to go up to the D. Yeah. Barbaris theme vibes? I'm not sure. I'm not sure who that is. Du -du -du. Lower velocity on the higher notes, add reverb to the strings. Like these? I don't know. I like the higher notes shining through. At least a little bit. I almost want to lower the velocity on these slightly. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. Okay, and now we'll create a unique pattern for this bit. Actually, we could follow the same. Actually, we'll, we'll follow the same. I'll just take out the sustain. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add a uh, glitchy basses, glitchy sounds. So I'm going to go into my folder of glitchy basses that I have made. Uh, I believe most of these I used, oh, what's it called? That one plugin. Uh, man, cause I made a video on this uh, talking about it cause I do it all the time. And I just wanted to show people how I did it, if anyone was curious. It wasn't glitch too, it was Fracture. Yeah, I used Fracture to make a lot of these basses. That's just a singular cool hit. Yeah, it's kind of like form. Yeah, I'll use pain. I'll use a little bit of pain. Let's see. Not like that. That's cool. Does it fit though? It sounds good, but... Yeah, it does. It just has to go in its own mixer track. So... Do it all the way over here. Teach us 8-bit rhythm. I've never made 8-bit rhythm, but it would be fun to try. That would be that would be fun. Yeah, and I'll layer a couple of other maybe some foley or something there. to make it a little bit better. It's very stereo wide.
Yeah, I'll make it a little less stereo wide. Sorry, I know I'm playing a lot of the same things over and over again, but that's kind of the it's kind of the 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 whole point of doing these detail work. The chance, the chance. Yes, 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 yes. I will do that. Let's see where is uh Sky Realm. I know I have it. Sky Realm. Yeah. Let's see. Viking vocal builder yells. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, cool. I think those are pretty cool. I could go with the yells. These are like words, snarls. <laughs> <laughs> those sound kind of funny. I like them though. Rhythms. Let's get it going. I like these. Grunts and chants. Battle shouts. Oh. That one's sick. Oh shit, listen to that. That's awesome. Ooh, that's cool. Not that one. This one's cool. Ah, I like the ha. Huh. I like it. I'll try 21. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't say that. Jeez. Those are awesome. Okay, let me put these into, uh, these are on the cinematic side. I'll put these into 23. Did I route something else into 23? Probably not. Yeah, I was listening to Berserker the other day and it sounded so cool. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a quick EQ, not that one. Ain't nobody use that one. Just wanna do that. And then I want to add halftime and see if I can. Make it deep. It's kinda cool. I like that. I'll have to EQ afterward though. Makes it sound a little more menacing. You know what I'm saying? Try making a uh, one chant unique pitch down and layer it with the other one. I think that's kind of what I'm doing with halftime right here. It's basically that. And then that happens. This one's a little louder. Let me turn it down. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm not going to sidechain it. I think the vocals are better unsidechained. Yeah, we just need a crazy just uh, bass there. So I'm going to go back into where I made these because I like these glitchy ones. These glitch bases are awesome. Oh wait, no, I could take ones that I've already used. Let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll use one of these and these little gaps. Ooh, that tears. Nice, okay. Oh, could I use both? Absolutely, I can use both. Fox Stevenson is a wise man. But I am going to make these unique real quick. I am going to do this. Because I want to make unique and then pan a little bit. And then I'll make this unique and pan this. To give it a little more texture. Oh, that sounds good. And then I need something to go right here. Yeah, I should just make a, a down falling bass. Let me save this. Okay, maybe I'll make one because I've, I've dragged in some basses for a bit here. Maybe I'll make a bass. Make one. Shouldn't be too hard. I don't expect it would be too hard. I've used Harmer for all the other ones. I feel like I should use Harmer again because if I try to use Serum, it's not going to sound right. I like Serum. Reese. Oh, yeah, I do have that Reese, but I don't feel like I want to... I'm going to be honest, I don't feel like I want to use that one again. I think it was cool, but I think it's better for the build-up. I just want to... What am I doing? I want to place this on the, pa the pattern, the drop pattern I have right here. Let's make sure this is quantized. Listen to that. This uh, this prism. Yeah, you, now you can really see what the prism does. Epic vocals. Yeah, that's the Sky Realm pack. It's awesome. Do, do, do. Wait, I have a great experiment. I'm going to do tomorrow to make two songs in the same key, same BPM, same vibe, same arrangements. Put one left and one right. Oh, bruh. That would be crazy. <laughs> make sure your sub isn't, isn't, isn't too crazy, though. <laughs> This to be more interesting, let me adjust the pitch. It's a little much. Yeah. Maybe I can add some noise. different every time
I kind of like that. Maybe I can go in and adjust the local EQ so I can adjust the distortion type. Because if you go like this when you're with distortion and you create this shape, you can make it either or you can make it crispier by boosting the sub or kind of thicker by doing that. The trouble is I want this noise oscillator to be unisoned too. I might just have to do that in post. Let me try doing this in post. So let me route this into 44. Not 44, 45. There we are. Let me add a bit of chorus. Sounds sick though. Yeah, I might just have to go into Serum Effects. I'll just leave it mono in, uh, man, man, so small. I'll just leave it mono in Harmony. And then do some cool stuff here. Like that. Do, do I ever share the FLPs? I think I have before, but not often. And now I'll take a band pass. That would be cool. That's actually sick. Sound design. Both bass from Virtual Riot, like every bass he's ever made. Band Pass is really cool. I like it. Let's see if I can't make something. Sounds kind of natural. Might gonna be the longest stream ever from Ghost Act. Yeah, we've been going for just about three hours. I'll probably layer that. Whoa. <laughs> Blast beat with the dubstep snare. Whoa, that just. Yeah, I like it, but it's gonna need a layer. Um, I guess, ooh, well if I load up my thick rack, then it's gonna get rid of this. Whatever, I can add it back. I can add it back, I know exactly what I did. Thick rack. Hmm. That 
that made it thick. Let me bring back the uh, bring back the serum effects. There we are. Yeah, three hours is usually about the normal length. You know what I'm saying? Did you know because of the product? Oh yeah, for oh, yeah, the samples I'm using are are copyrighted samples. We can't give these out for free. <laughs> me abusing the snare, <laughs> just blast beat. Let's see, I'm gonna do this. Make it sound like a demon. And then it turns into this. Stream save. Oh yeah, I should save the project. But yes, this stream will be saved. It'll go up on YouTube, just like all the other streams. It sounds cool. Maybe a little classic, maybe not quite as modern, but I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. Let me take uh, a disperser. Seems to, ooh, it seems to make it a little more growly. I like how it's slightly different every time. Let's see if I can't scoot slightly. Change these to double curves. Let's see. No side chain. Oh yeah, you're right. No side chain on that snare. There we go. I think the next thing I want to do just to keep this interesting is a high pass filter actually. So this will be That'll be the high pass filter that cuts the sub. I want this high pass filter to filter falter. This high pass filter. This high pass filter to be Oh, that's cool. Okay. That's pretty dope. So I will create the automation clip, have this high pass filter slide down. Ooh. All right. Sometimes the tonality of it sounds sick, sometimes it doesn't. But I'll just I'll just deal with it. Like sometimes it sounds good, I kinda like it. So I might have to render out my favorite version. That's noise. Let's see, I would have to ooh, how am I gonna do this? Do I just want to do that? This is very loud. Let's see. I could get fancy with the uh, slide notes. I could do that. So I take this slide note. That's down. Yeah. And then this slide note will be full volume, I guess. Yeah. There we go. And then uh, I guess I'll do the same thing for the sub <laughs> if I just... Uh, Let's see. This is like down up there for some reason. There's no need for that to be there. But I'll just take this, copy it, and go into the sub. 
which is not there. Uh, sub. Just so we get a nice wobble. Sounds good. Okay, and unmute. Oh, there's no, uh, there's no sub here. Man, those metal drums just sound so sick. Sounds so sick. I should use the metal drums more as the backing stuff instead of the synthetic. Okay, cool. So that sounds sick. Let me let me save. I selected all of it. Okay, let's hear what this sounds like so far. Yeah, and I'll take some of these bases and put them in the buildup so it's not as uh, not as out of nowhere. Uh, oh, there is no sign in any says sub here, and I'm not because it doesn't sidechain. I have side. Look at these sidechain. Oh, this one right here isn't sidechain. Okay, I wasn't playing this part, but okay, now it is sidechained. Look at that sidechain. <laughs> Yeah, I started streaming 16 minutes ago. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's been three hours. I need a layer for this. And I don't exactly know what I want for a layer, but I will try using uh, this guy. Still one snare left with no sidechain. Kick, snare, kick, snare, 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 snare. How am I missing all these sidechains? Okay. There we go, and there we go. Okay. That is every single sidechain. That is all of them. Okay. They're all good. Appreciate it. <laughs> Not paying attention to my sidechain. Ooh. That sounds cool. Oh yeah, for some reason this is panned left. I don't want that. Let me make unique again. Ooh. And I will have this center. Ooh. Try some epic drums for the lair. Ooh, that actually is a good idea. Like, doo -doo kind of things. Ooh, I almost want to do the metal toms, though. <laughs> Let me let me try with these cinematic hits though. I will try uh trailer. No 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 no. Uh Quantum Force Volume 2. Let's see. I could take something like this and chop it like that. Don't know if that will actually end up working. 
Like, that's cool. They need so much more high end though. Let me let me try this. I'm just going to try it. See if I can't OTT this. It's kind of cool. I have to maybe fade it out a bit. Because it's just not quite sharp enough, you know what I'm saying? Not quite sharp enough. That's sort of cool. Octagon. That does work. I actually like that. I like that a lot. That little addition of the cinematic drums. I am still going to kind of cut the sub. Because it's got sub frequencies going on. Which aren't exactly what I want. But it still sounds really cool. And I will sidechain it. Did I just do something? Okay, I didn't. I'll take these layers now and use them here. Oh, that sounds good. Woo. Camel Crusher. I actually don't have Camel Crusher downloaded. I do not have it downloaded. Do triplets in the second half, turning two half. What now? Do triplets in second half. Turning into two half beat bases. I'm not sure that I understand. Maybe it's just my small brain, but I want to go into something a little more like understandable right here. You know, something that something that follows a general dubstep groove that's a little more understandable. So for this, I'll probably use a serum. Use serum for this. I like serum. Let's ho hopefully it mixes with the Harmer ones pretty well. Let's see. Oh, school begins tomorrow. Oof. I don't envy you. I am sorry. Do, do, do. Can you even legally download Camel Crusher anymore? I don't think so. I don't think so. Two bases that are half a beat long. I feel like I want this to be a little more of a groovy, more of a groovy part. You know what I'm saying? So let's create some kind of just kind of a cool hit. I will take a wavetable, cool wavetable. Let's take wonky. Ooh. Oh, that's actually really cool. Ooh. I don't know why that's so cool. It's it's too low. But I like it. Oh, Pyro's headed out. See you later, man. Catch you next time. I think that it's just taken off the market. I think that's why. So I'm going to make this one. Oh. And I want to see what happens if I throw this just right away through a thick rack. Because even though it's so simple, you know what I'm saying? I still think the tonality is so cool. So let me start by just thick rack. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. If I just... If I just make sure that it has a little bit of... Ooh. Because it's like an octave too low, these things make it sound so juicy. It is very loud. It sounds like the Predator. Or like, uh, what's the name of those things in, uh, in, in, uh, what is it? Be Quiet? What is the, what's the John Krasinski film? Hush something. Let me try, uh, asymmetrical. Oh. That's so dope. A quiet place. Yeah. Okay. It's like the grudge sped up. What did I what did I say? Be quiet. <laughs> it's like quiet place from Wish. Oh, okay, this is cool. Uh, listen to that. Put a vocal saying black hole. It's like uh, Schism and Trampa. That madman's headed straight for the black hole. Let me take a bandpass filter again. Maybe I could switch between a saw and a square. Oh, I like that. Let me add some distortion or maybe. No, I'm not doing that distortion. Ooh, listen to that. Whoa. That's sick. Okay. Okay. Um, a little bit of noise, maybe. Doesn't really help. Whoa. Ah, I like that. I'm just doing detail work right now, but man, it sounds cool. Okay, let me add a, not a resonator. Resonator would be interesting. <laughs> Let me see. That's kind of cool, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to add the disperser. Yeah, this is a really heavy, it's sort of death step ish. And then I want a really dirty distortion on top, like if I have a Faturator. And then I can add a bit of a chorus maybe. Actually, let me go into the Serum Patch. And we can add a little bit of that. Whoa. That's crazy. That's insane.
Okay. High speed tremolo acoustic guitar. Oh wow, that's a lot of tremolo on an acoustic guitar. Okay, I'm going to give this guy some high end. I'm gonna take away its sub privileges. And now I have to, I wanna create a pattern with this. I hadn't anticipated this sound being so cool, so I'm gonna have to figure out a pattern. Uh, It might just be a really dope first hit. That's it at the vault at the like pitch it should be and then Oh, I know what I want. I know what I want to do. I want to go into where's distortion. Uh, let's see distortion. I want to go into destructor and under distortion. I want to select the harmer log distortion <laughs> so I can use the log distortion on other things. <laughs> to make it sound even crazier. So screw you fatrator. I ain't using you. I don't think I want to do that. Even though it does sound cool. It's just not something that I want to do. Let me go into uh, the sub. Wait a minute. I added that on the drum. Why did I do that? Okay. Let me uh, cut this. Let's add this right here. Here we are. And here's a sub. Come on. There we go. And then we'll add the noise on top of it. You could use a higher sustain bass instead. I think I'm going to layer this because... To me, it's just so dang cool. To not use. I just need it to be up front. And then I'll layer it with something probably from Harmer just to make it easy and make it full. Do a bass melody. Uh, hmm, that'd be interesting. I don't know if that's something that I want to go for though. What on earth is Laser Seal? It's kind of cool. <laughs> yep, I'm still live. I'm still going. Um... Let's see. It's kind of cool.
I actually think I want to use that. For some reason, I feel the need to go to G sharp. Down, down. Ooh, that could be cool. I'm just gonna try this and I'll layer it with something. Use color bases? Nah, I don't think I'm gonna use color bases. Oh wait, no, I, I feel like I wanna go. And I can have the strings do that. And I'll layer it, I'll layer it, because it needs a layer. Let's add a thick rack. I don't know if it actually needs it. It's a little bit much. I don't know if it would sound better faster. I like I like that tone, but I don't know if it works with the rhythm. Unless I just went like this. I'll get another bass to layer on top of it so it sounds a little more filled in. Oh, that, okay, that actually does sound really cool. All right, uh, sub is here. I'm organized, I promise. Like this. Oh wait, but it's on, it's in A. Do, 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 I have to edit this pattern. Oh wait, it's already playing it. Because of the A's right there. It's already it's already working. Okay. Nice. Do do do. 
I realized I would do better in an EDM duo. I always wonder what it would be like to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I've made tracks with friends before and it's gone well, but there's other times where it was like ideas constantly keep clashing and you want to change each other's stuff. I feel like you have to really have a good, have a good gel with whoever you're duoing with. <laughs> feel like almost maybe I wouldn't have to go up to the A right away. Nope. Okay, I said I'd layer that with something, so let me figure out what I would like to layer it with. Toms. Nah, that didn't happen. Then. Um, I guess I'll do something else in uh, Serum. Actually, no, if we're making a Harmer layer, we should probably do Harmer as well. Log Distortion. And then we just go in and edit the, where is it, pluck shape? go nice and dirty a little bit of that i always just add a little bit of it because because just because i love the tone the tone is so good <laughs> yeah a of course <laughs> This is not the right octave. Not the right note either. I was wrong every time. So loud. Route it into this one forty eight. Let me route it into forty seven C. Now nah, it has to be routed into forty eight. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good uh, way of filling out that spectrum. Also, this sub definitely has to uh, come up to the A. It's really messy. This thing does not need... Why is this thing so high frequency?
I'll make this unique and I will pitch it up one. Now it makes it sound like it's a... Now it makes it sound like the whole thing's in A. Oh, okay, weird. Yeah, that's a transition to the key of A. I don't want to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that does sound weird. It, yeah, no, that doesn't work. That's the key we're in. So maybe I could just... Maybe I could just go to G. That could be better. And now I will have to change up the the strings. Oh, it's like major. That's kind of cool. You guys use keys. <laughs> I don't want to go up to the go up to the G. I thought I did. I really hoped that that would work, but it just didn't. <laughs> can do that part though. I actually like that better.
feel like it has more character to it. Ah, but does it sound good? Hmm, yeah, this is, this is tricky. This stuff is tricky. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't like that change. I know I keep changing it, but it's an octave up. It's going to be way too... Or, well, that's with the other synth. What is uh, the actual bass itself, I think, is going to be way too strange. Yeah, I think it kind of has to remain down. But I'm gonna see if I can make some. I if I can get this track to the point where I'm decently happy with it. If I can put these little shots in here with the uh, with the kick drums. Ooh, that's kind of sick. Now, the, the fast ones are sick. Not that one, not that one. Wait a minute, are these not sidechained? Okay, these are sidechained right here. And I think what I have to do next is do some of this. So I'll get uh, the sub bass. And then get the sub itself. Wait, did I just uh, say the sub bass? I meant the white noise. And yeah, I can play the track from there. Let me just, uh, let me just get this to a point where it's easier to listen to. And see, these chords are playing. Oh, they're going up to the F, so I want to go up to the F with the bass. Not with the noise, that doesn't really matter. Um, sub. So I will make unique. Pitch this up one. And these don't really have any, don't have any underlying pitch, so they don't really have to change.
orange paint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what it's called. Okay. This bass is so sick. Whoa, sorry, that was very loud. Let's go back to these. And then I'll add like a bass fill right there. And then maybe you'll stop that. How come I stopped sound design requests here? Got to the point where I wasn't sure how accurate I would be able to get them. And a lot of people who request sound design stuff, they have a really specific sound they're looking for that no one else is really interested in most of the time. So it was kind of hard. Like I had originally thought, uh, I'll just ask people what they want and then that'll like everyone will be happy with that. But a lot of times what happened is I would get kind of obscure requests for songs that no one had really ever heard of. And it wouldn't, it wasn't, wouldn't have been really great for a YouTube video. So I kind of, I don't really do those anymore. So let me take a uh, sub. Yeah, it is a shame. I had done those for quite a while, though, especially, uh, like, on an old channel that I had before Ghost Hat. Also, sound design is getting so complicated nowadays that I question my ability to accurately recreate some of the wacky stuff that people come up with. Because what a lot of producers will do is they'll run one sound through, like, ten different channels of post-processing, and then they'll chop it up and run it through a whole different vocoder. Like everything is getting so much more complex that it's so hard to tell how a sound is actually made. You know what I'm saying? And then I can have a big hit right here. Oh, where's that fill? I want that fill. And I can use a fill right here. Oh no, I'll have to create a new fill. I'll create a new fill. And I'll put a bass right there as well. I just want to take these, take these like one bit at a time. Uh, my day's been pretty good. This is pretty much my day <laughs> so far. This is this stream. I, I woke up. I got refreshed and started streaming, but let me make this unique.
too high. Yeah. To do layer choir hits with strings in the second half, that's a good idea. I just want... Okay, and these drums have been too loud for too long. Where's the layer for this? Because I had a layer. Yup. Yeah, no wonder it was sounding empty. And let me take this space that we had before. Uh, no, I probably just for the sake of like the song and like listening, I'm probably going to duplicate it. Although I probably won't add changes to the second half right now. I'll probably just have it play twice kind of thing. Why is the bass so much louder right there? That isn't any good. It's not what I thought it would sound like at all. Oh, no wonder. Why is that that loud? I love those these chants right here. They're great. Ah, those chants from the Skyrim pack are awesome. Okay, I need some of those sound effects that I had before the transition stuff. Yeah, like this. Those kind of things. It was just little little bits that make it work. It's been almost four. Oh my goodness, it has almost been four hours. Wow, I thought it was like three hours and I don't know, 15 minutes or something. But geez, yeah, it's been a long time. I'll probably wrap it up in a minute. I'm just going to add some final touches. Yeah, I would have liked to uh, add the basses. You know what? Screw it. I can add the basses. this I'll just, just take this and then I'll throw that in the build up and then we will be good this lasted a while even with me already creating an intro this lasted a while imagine if I hadn't created anything <laughs> okay what happened to the base in the middle though where'd that go Oh, for some reason it's over there. Okay, let me re-record this. And then we'll be good. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> yeah, so it's a full four hour stream. It's a long one. It's not simple. But it's all good. Complex music is fun. Okay, there should be more there. There we go. Hmm, I might have to mess around with the pitches, but that's okay. Uh, I'll throw this in... 25. Let's see, select... There we go, and now I will use vinyl. Actually, no, I will not use vinyl. That's not what I want to use. I want to use this preset telephone. Like that. I think we actually gave away this preset in a video we did about Patra. It should be decently recently. Decently recently. <laughs> I have to do some quick editing here. Okay, wow. Uh, for all the thing, do what? <laughs> I have no idea what that, I have no idea what you mean. Okay, let me get some impacts real quick. I'll throw this here. I'll put this here and this here, just to wrap it up with a nice push. And we can get some slide ins. Let's see. Some of these whooshes. Sounds cool. I completely forgot about that bit. Okay, all right. I think I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna call it. There's so much more I could do to this. I could. I mean, look how big it is. I could continue work on this for quite a while, for quite a while. But I think I'm going to play the whole thing. 
I really hope it matches up at least somewhat because <laughs> I like I like it, but I just do not know if it matches at all. I really do not. So I'm going we're going to see we're going to find out. But I know the cinematic part by itself sounds good. And I like what I've done with the dubstep part. So let's just go ahead and I'll listen from the beginning. It's kind of long. It's kind of long, but just I'll play it for the end. For the end of the video. That was pretty cool. I know it's it was it's long, it's a really long intro. Again, I didn't uh, I didn't mean for <laughs> originally when I made the intro, it was meant to be like a cinematic thing where you would have like a visual like like movie sort of scene going at the same time. But uh, that hit really hard. That hit really hard. I like it. I thought it was really cool. Um, uh, there's a lot of tweaking that would have to be done to the bases, I think, because a lot of them don't fully fit in and the, like the patterns aren't 100% satisfactory for me, in my opinion. But, uh, but I think for, for what I put down and how I mixed it together, I think it turned out really well. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Orchestral and like cinematic dubstep is a very long, uh, is a very long, like genre to make like it takes a long time i would most of the like the amount of work i've done here i would probably get done over a matter of days and i'd be like coming back and choosing stuff i'm like okay i like this i like this tweaking it then leaving and then coming back you know what i'm saying but yeah i'm i actually kind of agree i think these fast bases these right here 
Whereas they're cool on their own, I feel like maybe they don't fit with the rest of the track pretty well, you know, very well, you know what I'm saying? So like little things like that, that I have to go in and tweak and be like, oh, I want to replace this and change that. But uh, that can be said for the majority of the tracks that I make, especially the ones that I make on stream. The point is that I got something cool down and you guys got to see the process, you know, that's awesome. Can you give away the project file? I'm afraid I can't do that. There's a lot of samples in here that are... Actually, a lot of these samples, like we're not able to give these away. These are our, these are our ghost hack samples. What sample pack of ghost hack can we find? The Brahms. You can find those in Cinematic Sound Effects Volume Two. Though that's probably my favorite. Uh, that's probably my favorite pack for sound effects. Uh, also, not not to undershoot the uh, Sky Realm package that I used. I used plenty of Sky Realm sounds earlier here as well as these chants were sick. So those are probably the two MVPs of this particular stream. But all right, this was a, this was a four hour stream, 24 hour stream, get out of here, get out of town. But this was the four hour stream, didn't plan for it to be, but it was that way. So thank you everyone for watching. For those of you who stuck around, especially towards in the beginning, whether it's on YouTube or, uh, or on, you know, just the screen. Well, it's all on YouTube. Whether it's in the YouTube video or on the stream, I really appreciate it. Yeah, those are from the Sky Realm pack. I really appreciate all of you. I'm not doing a 24 hour. I'd, I'd die. <laughs> but you guys are awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy producing.